Hi winners. Okay, now we are going to discuss our plan for the next 30 days. And before going into the plan, I'm just going to give a brief idea of what we are going to do. Okay, so from now, as already discussed, every 21st, we'll take new things. And every 20th, we'll have exam, not a normal exam, grand exam, okay. So every one month, we are going to deal with few things. For example, from January 20 to 5th 20th. So we're going to deal some, some things, okay, something, okay. Okay, this is what our plan for the upcoming few days. And now uh, coming to the two things. Okay, one is offline and one is online. Okay, uh, offline will include both offline plus online. Online will contains only online. Okay, so in online, you have your regular regular whatsapp discussions your video classes okay uh, apart from this you will have your smart notes okay you will have a textbook reading from one side And uh, apart from the textbook reading, you have your PP books on other side. And apart from all of this, you have your regular MCQ books reading. Okay. So this is common for all the students, but this is exclusively for MDS Conquer students. Everyone do this. So we also do this. So there's some basic MCQ books that every individual who prepare for the entrance, they do this. So we do this regularly. So apart from the regular preparation, you will have this preparation. You'll have textbook reading, which is really required. You'll have PP books. You'll have smart notes that are being exchanged in the group. And you'll have video classes. You'll have the audio classes. You'll have WhatsApp discussions. You'll have some PDFs that are being shared on the group and everything. So apart from all this, you'll have your exams. Okay, you'll have your exams that is one is topic specific exams. One topic specific means if it is an important topic for the examination, for example, implants is a very important topic for the examination. AIDS related diseases or the course of AIDS from all the uh, subjects is very important. So you'll have a topic specific. Finish lines is an important topic in FPD. You'll have an exam on that. Major connectors, minor connectors are important topic in RPD. You'll have an exam on this. Numericals in dental materials are important. You'll have an exam on this. So you'll have topic specific exams that can be a daily exam. Daily, you'll have some topic, okay? A reading of some topic and for the topic specific, you'll have some examination on the site, okay? So once you're done with the topic specific, uh, there's something new that we are adding that is topic specific diagram based exam so the few things that really required for example implants you should have a topic specific diagram based because uh, uh, you have you they're being asking questions uh, new questions from the implants area uh, and that to diagram based questions and uh, most of the uses and most of the thing most of the basic mcq books are not at all covering any of these aspects so it is mandatory that we need to go with some topic specific diagram based exams also next one is we'll have subject specific subject specific exams okay that minimum five to ten exams per each subject subject specific means covering all the subject once you're done with a particular subject you'll have a subject specific examination okay so next again subject specific diagram based exams And now because of the lengthy lengthiness in, in the neat uh, 
2020 paper, I have decided from my side to have diagnosis, a new thing, okay? Means questions only based upon diagnosis of a disease or questions only based upon the diagnosis followed by the treatment plan of a disease. So our, our goal, our goal from our side is to cover almost all diseases solidly from the textbook and according to the blueprint and according to the NEAT syllabus. Okay, so we'll have diagnosis and treatment plan questions. And you'll have multi-level questions. Multi-level means easy questions because 2018 question paper is easy. New questions. 2019 question paper when compared to 2018 is more of new questions with repeats and lengthy questions that is 2020 is all of lengthy questions most related to your diagnosis and treatment plans so we'll have all levels of game here okay not only sticking to the simple level all levels okay so that is our the pattern of examination for the upcoming change in the pattern of examination from upcoming few days and next one, who teaches you? Who teaches you? In the offline, in the online. So online for every subject, we have picked three to four mentors. Out of which two mentors will teach and two mentors out of which one mentor will be taking specific exams and one mentor will be dealing with the grand exams. So ideology behind this is when you have more mentors and for the offline you'll have two mentors for each subject and these four mentors are not included in these two mentors. So if you're a student of offline you're being exposed to the mindset of six mentors for every subject. And if you're offline student, you're being exposed to mindset of three to four mentors for every subject. Means the ideology of a question paper, the paper setter will be different. Okay, one question or one subject questioning is different from other subject. Ideology will be different. How they will be different. So when you're exposed to multiple mentors, who are really capable of, who are filtered mentors, like most of the MDS Conquer mentors or MDS Conquer students, uh, okay, who, who has this ability of multi-level orientation or multi-directional preparation. Okay, so such people, they have a quality of giving the best questions. Okay, uh, apart from giving new uh, questions, they also maintain your confidence levels. That is more important. So when you're being exposed to five to six mentors for every subject and imagine that how many it's going to be for 20 odd subjects. So there are more than 100 plus mentors here work day and night online as well as offline to make your preparation more lucid. So these are the people who are going to give. And for offline, you'll have more fun, funny, funky and more of motivation. Okay, involvement in the preparation, taking the responsibilities, X, Y, Z are the qualities of MDS Conquer team. Okay, so I hope you're clear that who teaches you from now. Okay, the next one, what I'm going to discuss right now is about our schedule okay so about our schedule so first goes i think this is already posted on the group but anyway i'm taking uh, one more step to discuss what you have to do so it's the upcoming few days we're going to cover subjects like one oral medicine which is going to cover seven marks according to the neat blueprint and uh, the blueprint of pga and neat it var uh, aims it varies Okay, the next subject is oral path, which includes oral microbiology also, where majority of us, we neglect this. Of course, our basic MCQ books has already neglected that. So oral microbiology, which includes bacterial diseases, viral diseases, fungal diseases, means you have to read them at the depth. They're very important for examination point of view. Okay. The next is few areas of general medicine and physiology. We'll discuss what are those areas. Not complete general medicine and physiology, 
few areas of general medicine and physiology which are really required in combination with radiology okay let's uh, this is going to be 14 marks and let's make it as this is uh, actually 14 plus 14 28 according to the need blueprint but we are going to cover maximum of five marks now not completely a maximum of five marks which are which we are going to deal so total in this month we are going to cover 14 plus 5 that is 19 plus 7 26 marks okay 26 marks is somewhere around 10 percentage of syllabus so we are going to cover 10 percentage of the syllabus in the upcoming one month okay so next goes is next goes is the uh, plan of action so books to be books that you need to carry is the basic mcq books like dental pulse dentist okay apart from this you have many other books but preferably these two okay next one is uh, you need to carry your power play books which are mandatory for the preparation highly recommended particularly for subjects like oral path and oral medicine okay and you'll have textbook reading and everything that goes simultaneously preferably you just take uh, you just keep a textbook for reference preferably i think most of us we have taken shafers for oral path so keep that as a reference and i don't know what you have done for oral medicine but make sure whatever you have done please do take that book only a few people they have done for gomes few people they have done for bucket so make sure uh, whatever book that you have done for oral medicine please do keep that as reference okay i hope that is clear the next course is about the plan okay so i have uh, shared this on the group there is nothing new in this but now i'm going to help you uh, in elaborating the things once again okay so 21st jan we are going to cover developmental disturbances of oral and para oral structures developmental disturbances so in the developmental disturbances the main concern that should be given is diagrams okay one is diagrams the second one is the basic description of each developmental disturbance for example if it is anodontia what does it mean dilaceration what does it mean fusion what does it mean germination what does it mean one that's the first important thing that you have to make a note whatever it may be all oral para oral developmental disturbances you need to know the meaning for the term second one apart from knowing the meaning you need to know the diagram also okay <laughs> what is mesodense what is paradense okay so you need to know you need to know the meaning and you need to know the diagram the second point is diagram is mandatory preferably the first diagram that is that is coming in the google can be a good good option or else you can go with the textbook based diagram to understand the diagram also cleverly understand the diagram the third important point that you need to make a note in the developmental disturbances of oral and para oral structures where does it is most common for example it's anodontia which teeth is most common supernumerated teeth where it is more most common dilaceration is most common at which teeth or most common at which position even para oral structures disturbances also most common at which place so these are the three basic important points that most of your questions will move around and rest all will be discussed on the group and uh, on on your examination platform or on in the basic mcq books okay so we go with this chapter for two days jan 1st and 21st coming to 23rd task the 23rd task is all about the tumors so benign and malignant tumors of the oral cavity please do list out all the benign and malignant tumors and make sure go very deep into the things which are most common for example a most common tumor is the most common question in your final year during your examinations for example ameloblastoma is most commonly asked coming to talking about the cyst okc is most commonly asked dentigerous is most commonly asked radicular cyst is most commonly asked coming to the unimportant cyst nasopalatine cyst is most commonly asked so it is mandatory that you have to go through this for
for example benign and malignant tumors squamous cell carcinoma is most commonly asked basal cell carcinoma is most commonly asked and of course these are the two things which are most common so whatever are most common in the population they are most commonly asked so such things you need to go very deep very deep if it is possible if you have a textbook and if you feel like you have time textbook reading is very good for such things why i'm stressing is you're already being done the same in the final year or after a one year one year it may be one year gap if you're already done with the internship you have done this so that's the reason why i'm asking you to keep your book whatever you have done as a reference so that it will be easy for you to see the things i hope you have already underlined few things you can focus on few things you can you can have a quick recap so this is all uh, common for all the things 23rd we are going to discuss about the benign and malignant tumors of the oral cavity okay and 24th we are going to talk about the tumors of salivary glands most common again most common malignant tumor most common uh, benign tumor are the most commonly asked questions okay so next is next you can go with the 25th task 25th task is the cysts of cysts and tumors of odontogenic origin again most common are most important uh next goes is the 26th i have kept for the revision so that's a sunday we have a revision so you can plan accordingly uh if you have any backlogs you can finish them if not you can do the practice papers on that particular day the practice exams exam specific diagram specific things you can take on 26th so coming to the 27th is all about oral microbiology 27th 28th and 29th one day you can cover bacterial infections viral infections and fungal infections so if you see the way it is viral and bacterial infections will be more in number they may take more time when compared to the fungal infection so plan in such a way that these three days you are going to cover oral microbiology at your best so next comes is the 30th 30th we are going to deal dental caries very easy topic for most of us again the most common disease and diseases of pulp and periapical okay and 31st jan we're going to cover spread of oral infections like ludwig's angina cavernous sinus thrombosis all these are very very important in that physical chemical injuries of oral cavity regressive alterations of the teeth and healing of the wound all these are very very simple small topics where to cover and what to cover i'm going to discuss on our group in specific before you take the topic on that particular day okay the reason is already discussed okay i don't want uh, i don't want everyone getting benefited rather than uh, my first preference is my students okay so we'll discuss that in person next comes is the first uh, first fib we need to work from all directions all directions in all the ways that is possible that is uh, the oral aspects of the metabolic diseases and allergic and immunogenic diseases of oral cavity in this the oral aspects of the metabolic diseases is a very very important topic that most of us and most of the mentors they neglect you need to be more focused and uh, coming to the second fib okay uh, all your offline classes as well as online classes in both the centers were suspended because 29th we are taking the success meet so most of your seniors who are part of mds conquer last year and who bang great things are going to come so we are going to have some fun we are going to have big party and we are going to have great great interaction with them so it's a great opportunity that if you plan to come over to the success meet i'm going to post the official invitation on the group inviting you in person but now i'm just uh, letting you uh, revealing you the out that success meet will be on 2nd february updates will be posted on the group it's you are most welcome because it success meet is basically for you so that if you can talk with the seniors their ideas what they have done what extra that you have to do you can see the crowd from all the colleges like a conference okay gatherings you'll have fun you'll have games we'll have party we'll have we'll have everything what not okay so that's that's the uh, uh, that's the hard work that's a, that's that's the party of 
all hard work that we what we have done in 2019 so uh, we are suspending the classes and everything on 5th second and coming we will we'll regather ourselves on 3rd february back to the preparation with all the energy levels from the success meet so we're going to talk about the diseases of bone and joints for two days that is fourth and fifth in which i'm going to cover few medicine aspects also fifth fib is exclusively uh, the physiology part of blood <laughs> and sixth and seventh we are going to cover both oral medicine oral pathology and general path and general medicine parts of the blood they are very easy if you study in combo okay so you have 3 days for the bloods to play with the blood at your best so again i have given eighth also a blood that is leukemias and other aspects so i have given 4 days for blood so 4 days i think it's sufficient enough to have the best so 10th for we have planned for the diseases of skin again i have given 2 days 10th and 11th but one day is sufficient so it is it is how you you plan because if you are taking blood here blood also don't require 5 days sorry 4 days you can you can manage in 3 days where you can save one day here you can save one day similarly you have many revision days in the middle so it's all about how you save the things okay then then the next goes is 12th and 13th you will have cns physiology i think cns physiology is again one day or one and half day where you can save half day the next goes is the 14th and 15th general medicine oral medicine oral pathology aspects of nerve diseases again two days are sufficient again one and half day is sufficient you will have half more coming to the 16th you will have your revision day where you can complete your backlogs 17th these are extra things red and white lesions are already covered in the uh, uh, in the diseases of skin but again I'm, i have given some more time because i have seen good number of questions from these areas where you need to spend more time and 18 february is completely a new topic no need to read anywhere you can just follow the group that is uh, pediatric oral medicine or geriatric oral medicine so both uh both aspects of oral medicine of old days as well as the young children will be covered in that particular day so 19th february our plan is to cover the image based questions image based things and uh, <coughs> specimens because we are dealing with almost all the specimens of oral path nowadays they are giving questions on specimens and histological slides too and 20th is going to be your grand exam okay 20th is going to be your grand exam so for 240 marks so you'll have 120 each subject that is oral path and oral medicine in oral medicine you'll have 20 marks on general medicine five marks on general path i mean i'm giving in specific blueprint but no need and you'll have 20 marks on physiology you'll have minimum 40 plus diagram based questions okay so this is a rough plan for the upcoming one month of time <laughs> okay i hope we are very clear about this uh in specific things will be discussed on the group uh once we take the topics okay i don't want to post this on Uh, youtube uh, i don't want to discuss our plan of action everything on youtube so thanking of si 